Alright, here's another video from WeldingTipsAndTricks.com. Today we're going to be talking about doing some vertical MIG welding, some uphill welding and some downhill welding. Uh, one good practice joint for learning how to do a V-groove, open butt uh, MIG joint, like a 3 8 you know, with a bevel on it, 35 degree bevel. A uh, good practice for it is just to get some 3 16 or quarter inch plate and tack them up at 90 degree angles like this and do inside and outside corner joints because it's the same settings, almost identical settings required, it's almost the same skill and that skill is uh, staying on the front of the puddle. Staying right up there on the front and where that arc is melting those corners off and that's how you do an open butt v-groove weld or in this case a corner joint inside and outside. See I'm keeping that arc right on the very tip, keeping it angled up in there, keeping it keeping uh, ahead of the puddle. The puddle will kind of chase you and if you stay back in the puddle you got problems. It won't penetrate like it should. So you got to stay right up on the front. Not too far. You'll shoot wire through. They call that whiskers when you shoot the wire through the back side. And uh, this, is this, this is the exercise that will teach you how to do it. So downhill MIG works really well on gaps because it does just kind of chase you along and uh, it's very easy to fill a gap downhill. So uh, you know, checking the back side on this. If it's set right and it's gapped right, you'll get good penetration. The front side will look kind of flat like this, and uh, that's kind of how you want it to look. So, uh, the second pass for vertical uphill welding, we're going to weld over top of that. Now, a lot of people have asked me about vertical uphill welding, and I, I usually recommend to trace the front edge of the puddle, trace the leading edge of the puddle like this. And what that does is it just kind of progresses you up at a very natural pace, and it keeps the arc on the business end of the puddle, which is the front end or leading edge of the puddle. And it looks something like this. So it's kind of like a little bit of a rainbow uh, arc. And you just kind of sweep that arc across the front or leading edge of the puddle. Pause momentarily on the sides. Try to do it evenly. Try to keep your stick out short without a whole lot of angle. Now in these videos, sometimes you'll see the stick out is a little longer than it should be. And mainly that's just because the, the MIG nozzle is blocking the video if I don't do that. But you want to try to keep that stick out uh, pretty short, like half inch or so, half inch or less for vertical uphill MIG when you're, when you're doing anything thick at all. Now if you're doing sheet metal, stick out can be a whole lot longer. I'm trying to give you as many different angles and shots and different lens settings as possible here so you can just uh, see this over and over. Pause momentarily. You'll notice it's about one a second. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005. That's just about the way it works out. Again, try to keep your torch angle pretty straight in. Just pause momentarily. Don't spend a lot of time across the middle and sweep across the leading edge of the puddle. Trace the leading edge of the puddle. So again, this joint is a outside, inside and outside corner. You got to run it downhill for the root pass. Stay in on the leading edge of the puddle like this. And then once you get that root pass in there, you weld a uh, weave pass over top of that uphill. And uh, I got this one pretty hot. Now when you're training like this, practicing, it's okay to dunk this thing in the bucket and uh, you know knock some of the heat out of it so you can keep welding instead of just always waiting for it to cool. But that's not a good practice to get into. You don't want to get into practice of quenching your metal. All right, here are the settings. This is 3 16 A36 hot rolled steel, inside and outside corner joints with a 3 32nd gap, 17.3 voltage, 200 inches a minute on the wire feed speed, where we're using 035 E70S6 wire and uh, 7525 argon CO2 gas.